The city's new 2025 budget did restore, restore rather cuts to schools, libraries, and cultural institutions, but more than 10,000 New Yorkers may be paying the price by losing essential services when they need them the most. Hello, Safe Horizon Hotlines. This is Stephanie. Are you somewhere safe where you can speak freely? I, I can't talk for long. He could be back any minute. I might have to call you back. If the in order for us to safely place a client, we're asking them to uproot themselves. We're at I'm tired. I didn't sleep last night. I'm just, everything is wrong. It can mean looking for space in an entirely different borough, away from family, from friends. They can't even pack a suitcase because that would be a red flag. They're really leaving everything behind. I just want to be safe. I just want to, I just want to be okay. We are talking about crime victims who rely on advocates from agencies like Safe Horizon to help them get their lives back on track. Joining us this morning is the CEO of Safe Horizon, Liz Roberts, to discuss the impact of the latest budget cuts on her agency. Liz, thank you so much for being with us. Good morning. Yes. Thank you for having me. This is very important. We did speak with Mayor Eric Adams uh, yesterday uh, himself, as well as the, the city council, patting themselves mm -hmm. on the back uh, because they were able to restore about a billion dollars to the, to the uh, collective $112 billion budget. But your agency, Safe Horizon, you lost $3 million That's in these right. budget cuts. Um, can you talk about what you guys do and if the mayor, city council, gave you any explanation about why they cut yeah. those funds? So honestly, we haven't heard an explanation that makes any sense at all. Um, this cut is to a program called the Crime Victim Assistance Program, where we place advocates, both domestic violence and crime victim advocates, in every single police precinct in the city. And so we're reaching out to survivors immediately after they have experienced something horrible, a domestic violence incident, a sexual assault, a, a, an incident of gun violence, and we're offering them support in that moment of crisis. You know, Liz, Safe Horizon's work is largely funded by the city. Mm -hmm. And what's the total allocation for you all for 2025? And in light of these cuts, mm -hmm. how many people can you serve, do you think, with that mm -hmm. not there? So um, this cut is to a program that was previously funded at the level of 15 million a year. It's being reduced to just over 12 million a year. So it's a 20% reduction in these services where we are out in every neighborhood of the city providing crime victim advocacy. Mm -hmm. So for an organization like yours that is so necessary in the community, you've been, the, the organization has been around since the 1970s. In light of these cuts, what are you going to do to restructure and what does this mean in terms of staffing and these vital services you provide? You know, of course, we'll do everything we can to mitigate the impact on communities right. and on survivors, um, but we have to take steps immediately to take 50 positions out of our budget for this mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. And that means there will be 11,000 victims that we otherwise could have reached out to that we won't be able to support. That's a whole, That's a, a big lot. one. It's huge. Now, as Vanessa mentioned, Mayor Adams, we spoke with him yesterday on the PIX11 Morning News, and this is what he had to say about the budget. Take a listen here. We sit in the room and we look at the money coming in and the money coming out, and then we make these tough decisions. Uh, we took small decisions at the beginning of this administration that allows us to have over $8 billion in reserves uh, during difficult times. And at the same time, we knew we had to find efficiencies. Taxpayers were not getting their money's worth. Uh, there was a lot of inefficiencies in our agencies. Uh, tough decisions, inefficiencies within the, uh, the city agencies. When you hear the mayor make those points, what's your response and where does your mind go for Safe Horizon? You know, this is a program that has excellent results. We reached 53,000 New Yorkers just last year. The client satisfaction is tremendous, over 90% on all measures. Um, it's, a, it's a really strong program that is backed by research. And so all I can say is if the mayor were to come out to take a look at what we actually do every day, he would restore it immediately. What's, what's the recourse and, and what steps can you take to yeah. possibly apply for emergency funding to cover this $3 million gap? You know, honestly, the mayor and his budget team could restore this funding today if they chose to. Mm -hmm. um, we will continue to advocate. We will continue to help them see the impact on our communities. Um, this is a program that makes a tremendous dif difference in terms of making this city a safer and kinder place to live.
Do you think historically your organization was unfairly targeted here? I just think they didn't take a close look at the outcomes. That's the, that's the only thing I can say. I think this was a budgetary decision that was not driven by an understanding of the program. I want to ask you too, can the public donate to Safe Horizon to help try to make up for that loss? Absolutely. We would welcome any support from the public. You can simply go to safehorizon.org um, to, to get involved in the work that we do every day. And we will still be here 24-7 on our hotline and throughout the city doing our best for New Yorkers. Perhaps even volunteers to cover the, the 50 staff positions that you're going to have to cut? Well, we, we welcome volunteers yeah. and we welcome community support in any way yeah. it can be provided. Okay. All right, Liz Roberts, CEO of Safe Horizon, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Yes, we appreciate it, Liz. And of course, if you or someone you know is in need of help, reach out to Safe Horizon in their 24-hour hotline. That number is right there on your screen. It is 1-800-621-HOPE. That is 1-800-621-4673.